So we are in the WCCO kitchen this morning with Mimi Salam here, uh, a guest with us who has Ethiopian and Eritrean food. Um, thanks for being with us today, Mimi. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so you teach virtual cooking classes too. Yes. Uh, to just tell people just how easy it is to make this kind of food. Um, tell us what you brought here for us today. Of course. Okay, I started with this one. It's called beef tips. Mm -hmm. It's uh, beef and then tomato mm -hmm. and green pepper. And we use uh, our spices, okay. which is called barbara. And I have them here. We're going to okay. have to go. Okay. Why don't we look? Just tell us a, a, real quick before we get over this here. This is one of the side dishes this is, here? These are Eritrean yes. and Ethiopian, right? Correct. Okay. Okay, so, so this is one of the side dishes here? Yes. Okay. And that's the lentils. Mm -hmm. And this is the spinach, and we call it alicha. And that one is gomen. Okay. And mm -hmm. this one is alicha as well. Mm. Okay. Those are veggies. Okay. So this is the final product, but now you're, maybe you're going to show right. us how this is all prepared. Sure. Okay. Okay, sure. let's do it. All right. So I have the meat here. Normally mm -hmm. I get the top sirloin because mm -hmm. it's nice and tender. Mm -hmm. And then we'll cut that. And then this is the onion. With onions, you can actually have any kind of onion you like. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be a specific one. Yeah. All right. Let's cut this one. And then I'll show you how to do the meat. And then what are some of the spices that we see down on the other end there? Yes, that's the one that we actually add in here. Okay. And it's called Barbara. Mm -hmm. It's an Ethiopian and Eritrean spice that we use and then we add them here to the tips that's why mm -hmm. you see it and it looks red right mm -hmm. and it's delicious and it's actually infused with cardamom and ginger uh -huh. and it already has some in it but we enhance it by adding some oh, okay. so when we cut this meat we just mm -hmm. cut it um, because it's tender mm -hmm. to a bite size okay since I already have one already made I'm just gonna do just a little bit okay, to show right. you mm -hmm. Mimi, I was asking you before when you when you do these online classes, if there's something that surprises you the most or surprises students the most when they take your online class. Uh, the most surprising will be they don't expect, they don't know what to expect, and right. then when they come in, they learn a lot, and then at the end of the day, they hugging me. They yeah. come back to my class. <laughs> Great, <laughs> oh, that they are. Yeah, uh -huh. they love the food and. We keep in touch. They come repeatedly to my yeah. classes in person and online. So how did you get started with these classes? You know, where did the recipes come from? This is something that I inherited from my family, my mm -hmm. mother, my aunt, to meet my aunt Saba, a couple of them. My mom's sister passed away, but she learned. She taught me a lot of this food, and my mom did. And then I went to school just mm -hmm. to okay. mm -hmm. make sure that we do this the right way. And sure. then I started this, and then now I'm doing pasta, and I'm doing this, and as you can see, egg roll and samosa. I brought some for you uh -huh. guys, uh, and then the kebabs. Yeah. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. Heather, you want? No, I have a quick question. I do, but okay. these look like crepes. What what are these? Those are injera. Those are Ethiopian bread. Uh -huh. So this okay. is how we're gonna eat. We don't use the spoon or anything. Mm -hmm. We use this to eat the food. Great. Go, come okay, on. Let's go do it. Okay, I need to get a, a, a silverware. No, she, no, she said, you know, use silverware. <laughs> yeah, you, no, just, right. you take it. For use your hand. Use your hand. Okay. You can get in there. There you go. Okay. Uh huh. You should yeah, try okay. it. Oh, no, He's I'm, ready. You I was can, going you to can try open it. it and take some. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Very good, hmm? The spices, yeah. oh my gosh. Mm, that's really mm. good. You can <laughs> taste the ginger. Oh, yeah. And it's not overpowering at all. <laughs> mm -mm. Now, if someone wants to take your classes, how do they do that? So they can go to mimiscookingclass.com, mm -hmm. and it will guide them to um, how they can sign up. Uh, Mimi, yes. thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. My goodness. Uh, you got to try this food. So you can find <laughs> the recipes, again, wccocom slash links. You'll find a link to Mimi's website there and more information. Riley, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing. <laughs>